Hi folks, I'm Marcel, I'm back, and yes, I have a new pair of glasses. And once again, for the third time in two years since I started taking NMN, my prescription has changed. And in my view, changed for the better. I have a more dialed-in prescription that allows me now to not only see my strong eye is my left eye. I not only see 2020 in my left eye, but I could read on strictly the right eye for the first time I can ever remember. I could read the smallest print. Therefore, I now have uh, 2020 in both eyes for the first time. Now, this is correctable, so it could be a glass half full, glass half empty kind of way of looking at it. Um, the the way it was described to me by the technician last time I had my eyes checked is that the muscles were more responsive to the prescription, therefore they could dial in that prescription better. Uh, I started to get a little bit, uh, I don't know, if, if blurry. I noticed that things were not quite as clear as I remembered them. So I decided to go back in, try a new frame, uh, and get my eyes tested again. And this time they came back different than the last time. And it's the third time this has happened in two years. The result is I can see clearer than I ever remember seeing. I've always had some vision issues and I could see clearer, uh, more clearly now than ever, both reading and also my farsightedness. So uh, quite amazing um, results for me. And this in and of itself wouldn't be, you know, so dramatic to me if it weren't confirmed by dozens more people in the comment section since I posted my last video seven months ago about the same topic, my eyesight changing. Now, um, there is a study that was done in China, a university in China a year ago, where they talked about NMN reversing the effects of macular degeneration and retina damage and a DNA damage to the eyes. They tested this on human cells. They tested it and repeated it um, with mice. And the results were the same. They were able to reverse these conditions. Now, I understand that Brad Stanfield and Nick at Physionics, I think as his channel is called, uh, have posted some takes or their perceptions and reads based on numerous NMN studies, human clinical trials. But these trials are low dosage, short term, and many of them in include 30 and 40 year olds. Um, 30 and 40 year olds are probably not going to see the benefits of NMN the way of 50 or 60. I'm going to be 60 next year. My life is completely transformed. Every time I see one of these young guys, scientists or not, doctors or not, talking about NMN and making uh, statements like I think and probably, like uh, Brad said, probably the improvements were only due um, to exercise and food. Yes, exercise and food have had an impact, but I tried those things before and I, I wasn't able to to recover until I was taking NMN and along with it resveratrol. So my results personally have been amazing, like not just a little bit, but amazing. But I'm also now taking 1.5 grams, six times what they were using in these clinical trials. Uh, I will say there's a recent trial covered by uh, Richard over at Modern Health Span, and he points out that exercise does impact people who take NMN. So NMN raised NAD levels, and then the subjects that exercised uh, had their NMN levels go up even more. So I do believe that it's a multiplier, as I've said before, a healthy diet, uh, including exercise and better sleep. It, these are multipliers for your NAD levels, for sure. I, I do believe in that. And that's something that David Sinclair has said many times as well. So my personal results, they just don't jive with some of these uh, clinical studies that, in my view, uh, utilize too low uh, of an amount, uh, too low of a dosage. Again, I watch Brad, and I've heard Nick has a really good channel, so I'm not saying these guys are, uh, are not trying. They're trying, but, and, but they're 30 years old. You know, and until you're 50, 55 like I was, and you've lost pretty much all your health— and then you have this massive reversal that's not just one-dimensional, that's multi-dimensional. My allergies have gone away. I've been overall healthier. Yes, I've lost weight. Yes, I've gained muscles. Yes, I'm taking other supplements now, but NMN inspired me to do these things. So it's really hard for me. I, I'm looking at them through the lens of my improved eyesight, right? 
And I'm, I'm seeing it through my lens, my own experience. So it's a different way of listening to their opinions based on what I consider to be substandard or insufficient human clinical data. I do believe that we need better human clinical trials with proper dosages over a longer periods of time. And I think we need to hear from more people and take them seriously as Vonda Wright is doing, as Dr. She is doing with actual patients. It's much different than to do things in a control group with low dosages over short periods of time when you're looking at Vonda Wright seeing women with their menopausal symptoms being reversed and Dr. Shi dealing with doctors all across the country, heart patients who've had their symptoms go away when they got their NAD levels back up. I think that to trivialize the NAD topic, that's dangerous. Like, that is highly frustrating. That is, in Brad's words, disturbing. To trivialize the impact that this is having on people's lives. At the moment when we're having a legal battle, like, if, it, if this was all true, why would uh, the opposition, Metro International Biotech, David Sickler, be spending millions of dollars and a lot of effort from the FDA to get control of this molecule if it had no impact? It, it kind of flies in the face of logic, and I, I, I kind of have to say, all right, what's the end game here? What is your agenda to be bashing a molecule that is the most popular supplement uh, probably on the market right now? It would have clearly been the fastest growing supplement had the FDA letters not gone out a year ago, but it, it just sometimes feels like I'm personally you know, under attack. That's just how I feel. I, I, and this community, like we're under attack. And I just asked the question, why? A form of vitamin B. David Sinclair wants to own it. FDA wants to take it off the market. Chromadex would love to see it go away because their stock prices crashed in, in the same timeline as NMN took off. So if all of this, and it's so popular, people reorder it more than any other supplement from the supplement companies that I've talked to, multiple companies. They've told me that the reorders of NMN are higher than any other supplement. There's nothing close. There's nothing close. And there's a lot of good supplements out there. Omega-3 and looks like CERT-6 activator, hyaluronic acid. There are a number of supplements that give you positive results. I've preached about CAKG and Fisetin, but why does NMN gain this much negative press? And why is it such an affront to people that people like myself, uh, influencer or otherwise, I just, I don't view myself as an influencer. I view myself as a guy with a story that I've been sharing, that I've continued to document on this channel. Everyone can tune in. Everyone can listen to me. Everyone can see the results. I wear the same shirt, as I said before. I have the same haircut. I have everything, the same room, the same lighting. And you can see the results. People are constantly commenting on the fact that I look healthier every time they see me. And I feel healthier every time I see you. So I just feel like we're under attack. And if these clinical trials were really adequate, right? In my view. And and I, not just my view. I'm like, watch Vince at my NMN experiment. And he goes down line by line uh, in response to the various accusations by Brad and, and also Nick, although he likes Nick a lot more than Brad, um, but he watches both. I haven't gotten into Nick's channel yet. I will start watching it when I get time. I've watched a lot of Brad's channels. I'm not anti-Brad at all. I think he has a place. I think asking these questions about NMN. Heck, one of my recent videos was about the worst things about NMN. So it's okay to be devil's advocate. It's, it's not just okay, it's required, right? We have to ask these questions. But don't sit there and act like, you know, people like me are just faking it, right? We're telling our story when there are over a million of us and tens of thousands of people taking NMN that I'm aware of through this channel and through the efforts of other channels, and they're very happy with it. Just read the comments. It's an affront to us that our health doesn't matter because you have some trial in a closed group that says this. When people are out there living normal lives, seeing immediate improvements in their NAD levels and in the way they feel that correspond to this increase in NED. I just 
I just don't see how that's accidental. And I've said it before. I'll say it again. You can come out with all of the trials and read them and throw in things like I think and probably. Uh, you can draw your conclusions, but I'm drawing mine from my life, from my own life experiences. All right. Again, you can get the links in the description of To Do Not Age. I didn't even mention that uh, until the end today because I really, I really, if you want to take Edamin, take Edamin. I'm telling you that I had a fake NMN for seven months and I had some trouble with a couple other companies I tried to order NMN through. I've been extremely happy with Do Not Age. So there's a discount code. It's the only one I've been offered codes from dozens of companies and I've turned them all down because I'm comfortable because this is the one I take. It doesn't make any sense to me, nor do I understand why other influencers have three companies with different codes. How can you be taking an amend from three companies is my question. So I just shared the one that I take. And if you guys want to take it, there's a code there. They send a small percentage back to this channel to support my efforts. So in full disclosure of that, but that's not the reason. That's not how this started. That's not why I do it. You can judge for yourself. Am I getting results or not? I feel like I clearly am. And hey, again, back to the vision thing. Wow, it's great to see you guys. <laughs> see you soon.